Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So today we're gonna take a look at CSS text reveal animations. Uh, there's a lot of different names to go by, uh, but just to show you what I'm talking about, this is the um, landing page and a project I've been working on for my upcoming second YouTube channel. And I've, I've covered uh, multiple tutorials on different aspects of like creating this video background, for instance, and also the landing page here. Um, so I'll link those if, if I can remember. Um, but if I uh, refresh this, you'll see we have this really interesting sort of title uh, or headline reveal animation taking place. As you can see, it's also slanted to try to keep with the theme of the site. So I will be, you know, uh, walking you through exactly how to set this up from scratch um, using any element. And all you have to do is just kind of wrap this uh, class, this div wrapper onto anything that you want to animate in such a way. All right. So um, I will link the GitHub so you can start off on the same starting point as I am with this uh, landing page, or really you could just get up an index.html page uh, and put an h1 element and get some uh, CSS associated with it and you'll be able to follow along just fine. So for today's question, today I don't have a question. Today I'm going to do an ask me anything. So you can ask me a question and I will make it a point to answer every single one of them. I don't even care if you troll, whatever, I'm going to respond to every comment that I receive. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have uh, the design that I was talking about. And again, again, this is something that I already created and I showed the development of in a previous tutorial. I'm going to make the GitHub link for um, everything that you see here available. And once you um, you clone that and you you open it up, you'll see this structure right here. Um, I'm also um, wa using Watch SAS right here, and also um, uh, Live Server I have opened here. So. Um, any changes I make will be automatically refreshed right here. So let's say, for instance, that we want to make this type right here, this is included in an H1 element, um, have some type of reveal animation. All right. So the first thing we're going to do in our index.html is find that H1, which is right here. I'm going to make things just a tad bit larger. All right. And we're going to wrap a, a div around it with a class that we can reference. So div class equals anim for animation. We'll copy that. And there we go. All right. So now we'll head on over to our main.css and we'll put in um, we'll start reference we'll start by referencing our anim class. Now, one thing that's uh, important to to note, all of this CSS don't make this distract you or discourage you the fact that I have other CSS here already we're only focusing on that h1 element and the anim element right here for this tutorial so don't let that discourage you um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna come down here at the bottom and we'll reference our anim class here all right so just to think about this we have um, the parent container of our h1 element is this div anim class all right so with that said, we're going to put position relative and display inline block. And you'll see um, what happens when we remove inline block uh, to the animation. And then um, I'm also going to put in overflow hidden. And you'll see how that comes into play in a little bit as well. All right. So of course, we're using SAS so we can nest in a rule set. So I'm going to put H1 here. By, by default, because we want it to reveal, we're going to set the opacity to our H1 element to zero. All right, and we're also going to apply an animation to it so that after a predetermined amount of time, it will show up. So we're just going to be taking the opacity from zero to 100% for X amount of time. All right, so the animation here, we'll just do animate text and we'll put in, uh, I'd say 0.7 seconds. And then forwards, we'll make it just go once. All right, so then, and really we could put this at the bottom. Um, we're we're gonna add an an before pseudo class here, and we're gonna put in content. And this here is what's gonna allow us to style the actual, um, the overlay uh, that's going to animate on top of the text. All right, so we set the content to empty just because we need the container. Um, and then we're going to put in position absolute. And then we're going to say top zero and then right zero. And then height, we're going to set to 100%. And 
and Z index will say to one, so it sits on top for sure. And then background uh, color, we're gonna set to black. So that's gonna be the color of this element that goes on top of the text. So I'm just gonna say black, it'll work well with my color scheme. And then animation, we're gonna put show text. And it'll be 0.8 seconds or so. And you can use uh, any easing options. I'm just gonna put ease. All right, and then now, now finally we have to um, define that animation as well. So we'll come down here at the bottom, actually both of those animations. So we first have uh, our animate text. And then we're just gonna put from opacity zero to and opacity one. And again, that occurs over 0.7 seconds. All right, so then we're gonna have our second keyframes, which is show text. All right, and inside of here, we'll just say at 0%, it's gonna be width will be zero and left zero as well. Um, we'll do 50% here which will be width at 100%. So we're basically taking that position absolute element starting from the top and left, uh, from the very upper left, and we're, which also has the height 100%. We're dragging it out from zero to 100%, and it's gonna be black. And we'll put in as well, left zero, and then 100%, we'll do width, zero and then so we're taking the width back in and the left will be a hundred percent so that will do an interesting animation that you'll see and i'll show you in a second here um so i'm going to save and we're going to refresh all right so notice because we put left 100 percent it's scaling in from here so if we were to have uh left that off It does something actually a little bit more strange. Uh, if we just lift this at zero, I think this was the uh, intended result that I was looking for. It just goes back and forth. Um, it makes it a little bit more interesting if you make it go to the right and kind of just uh, swipe over that way. And it makes the reveal more interesting. So um, save that again, show you it one more time. All right, so there's obviously a lot of other things that you can do with this. Um, so by reversing the uh, right to left, for instance, for instance, like if we just do this, just change these all from left to right, you'll see that it reverses the order. Very, very simple. All right, and then um, let's go re revert that back. So we can also do um, an after um, so pseudo, a pseudo class. Um, so that way we can have two layers that are, are transitioned on top of each other or positioned on top or layered on, layered on top of each other. All right, so to do that, all we'll do is put in right here and after, all right, and then We'll come down and we'll remove both of these properties. And then we'll define both of those properties um, specific to before and after. So we'll say before and then and after. All right, so this one we'll say, um, we'll make this one white for before. So that will be beneath the black element right here. And we have to add a delay on top of black. Uh, we'll say 0.5 seconds. And the animation we'll say is 0.6 seconds here. Um, timing the animation is gonna really affect you know, how, it, how it works and looks. So let's save that. There we go. Very cool. So now we have this sort of uh, double layered uh, animation occurring. And this idea, by the way, I did get from uh, CodePen and I'll link that in the description. But I decided to further um, 
adjust this just to show you know you can really work with these a lot more um, by making it trying to make it relevant somehow when it comes to um, branding and identity design whenever it makes sense try to reinforce you know some of the aesthetics that are a part of your brand identity so what I mean for instance is like this let's jam button um, notice I the name of the company is slant and so one of the ways to play on that is to include slants so i have this guitar uh video that are shot um this vid video footage which again that's that's a video tutorial that i have on this channel i have it at an angle that's slanting i have this call to action button slanted right here so what if we could slant this animation that's on top of it as well so we can create um, we can probably use a clip path so that instead of these just being rectangles that are kind of animating in and out, they can have this sort of a, a slant effect. And so a great tool for doing such a thing is, um, it's called Clippy, it's a, it's a web-based tool. Let me go get that real quick. All right, so this is the URL. So it's bennettfeely.com, that's two Ts, um, forward slash Clippy. So we click on trapezoid or whatever, how many um, ever, you know things or points or vertices we need and then over demo size just to get an idea um, of what's more in proportion with what we have which is a not a square it's a rectangle we'll put in like I don't know 70 pixels it's not really you don't have to do that but it just helps you visualize the shape that you want it to take so we'll put this here and then maybe this here like that so now we'll just copy clip path and because we're using our SAS thing we don't have to include the um, the vendor prefix and then what we'll do is add this on right here so let's just save this and see what happens <laughs> I don't know if I like that too much it looks a little bit cheap and a little bit broken up um, so we can definitely uh, try working with that and, and changing it I think what we can do instead Ooh, animation. I didn't realize I had a typo there. Same effect anyhow. Let's go ahead and adjust this. We'll, we'll change our show text uh, keyframes up here a bit. So instead of doing something where we're changing the width, which is really skewing uh, the, the, uh, the, sh the new shape that we have with Clippy, uh, we'll, do, we'll use translate uh, or, or transform translate X. And so the property is transform and we want to translate X, which means we're going to move things on a horizontal path. So we're going to start at zero and then at here, we're going to put transform translate X 12%. And then over here, we're simply going to put in transform translate X 100% so let's see what happens uh, when we do that all right and so now it's a little bit more well it's, it, it is more effective in my mind um, I almost think that it would make more sense if we went back to our clippy thingy and we just only have the slant right here so let's just copy that again come up here so obviously as you can see um, this is all about experimenting and, and really it, it, I, I, I think it's fun and remember when I mentioned before um, you know when it comes to display inline block if we remove that look what happens and this is an entirely acceptable effect as well Although when it comes to that skewed um, clippy thing that I have going on, this would definitely work better if, uh, if you're going to go all the way from the parent container. Uh, it would work better if you were just using a straight up rectangle because that looks a little bit silly. Um, but yeah, we'll add that back in. All right, so hopefully you're able to, to gain uh, just some insight here into how to do and how these um, interesting CSS uh, based text reveals work and by the way you can also apply this on images so feel free to add it onto anything essentially um, basically the, the 
Um, the technique involves simply using these before and after with the empty content um, pseudo classes uh, and then applying animations on top of them. And you could do it really to anything. All right, so hopefully you found that useful. If you did, make sure you subscribe and click on the little notification bell icon and also answer today's question, which is just ask me a question and I will answer it to the best of my ability. All right, see you guys later.